Much in about a half hour, union supporters plan to get on a bus and head to Madison, the group ready to protest right to work legislation. A Senate committee expected to hold a marathon public hearing on that legislation today. Bridget Shanahan live at a local union office with more on that. Bridget. That's right, Vincent Susan. I'm at Local 113, and those union members are already starting to show up. I just saw a couple inside the building here, and I spoke to one of them earlier. More on that in a second. This rally today that these guys are heading off for in about a half hour now comes on the heels of a big rally in Zeidler Park last night in Milwaukee. Of course, these union members are protesting against this right to work legislation that would ban companies from requiring employees to join a union or pay union dues. Now, the big argument for some supporters is it will make Wisconsin more competitive when it comes to attracting businesses. Now, the bus doesn't take off until 7, but I just ran into a union member who says this is not a union issue, it's a worker issue. He says it's not a party issue either, Republican or Democrats alike. He said lots of union members voted for Walker because he said he would not push right to work. Well, before the election, uh, Scott Walker, you know, was pretty adamant about supporting workers. He said he was not interested in right to work. And I take him at his face that, that, that he's an honest Christian man, that, that, that he was against right to work. But, but we're hearing that he's saying he's going to sign this if this goes through. How does that make you feel? Um, I feel a bit betrayed. I'll be quite honest with you. So again, that bus taking off in about a half an hour now. They're heading over to Madison. There's a rally at the Capitol at noon today. And then the Senate committee is holding a public hearing on right to work at 10 o'clock this morning. That's expected to go until 7 o'clock tonight. Live in Milwaukee, Bridget Shanahan, today's TMJ4.